Thanks for having me here today, and uh, thanks for being here in the afternoon. So I'm going to talk about, uh, first is the stage three melanoma management, mainly in the uh, surgical management, as well as the adjuvant treatment. Then I'm gonna move to the new updates in the systemic treatment, especially the newly approved uh, target therapy and also new trials uh, regards of uh, combination immunotherapy. If time allows, I will also quickly discuss the use of anti-PD-1 and anti-PD-L1 agents in the advanced Merkel cell carcinoma. For stage three melanoma, one of the questions in the surgical uh, management is really what is the extent of the surgery, especially for patients who have sentinel lymph node positive disease. There's no doubt that a sentinel lymph node has prognostic values and, but there are still two different theories in the field regarding the, U, the role of uh, sentinel lymph node. Uh, one theory is that sentinel lymph node is uh, one step out of uh, the primary metastasis to distant sites. And the other theory is that uh, sentinel lymph node is actually in parallel with systemic uh, metastasis. Therefore, if the second theory is true, then removed the sentinel lymph node will not improve the overall survival. As I mentioned, the sentinel lymph node involvement already showed a worse prognosis in patients with melanoma, and the tumor burden in the sentinel lymph node with more than one millimeter is also uh, has a worse prognosis. And then the initial uh, trial of the MSLT1 really established the use of sentinel lymph node biopsy in the management of melanoma patients. However, in this trial, the minimal increase of the survival compared to the observation group really shows that there are still questions regarding whether the, the complete lymph node dissection is needed since everybody here has sentinel lymph node positive disease received complete lymph node dissection. So over the past year, there are two uh, really studies showing that, uh, answering this question, is that do we need to do complete lymph node dissection up front versus observation in patients with sentinel lymph node positive stage three melanoma? The first trial was published at the end of last year, which is the MSLT true trial, showing that enrolled patients with uh, resected melanoma with sentinel, sentinel lymph node positive disease, and then randomized them into either complete lymph node dissection upfront versus observation. And the patient who developed the disease uh, recurrence in the uh, observation group can have uh, surgery later on. And the result clearly showed that there is no uh, benefit in terms of the uh, melanoma-specific uh, survival, which is their primary endpoint.